If I ask you to measure the length of a straight line, what would you do? Plain and simple. Get a ruler and measure its length. Done. And what if I ask you to measure the circumference of, let's say, a wall clock? Well, you might reach for a string to trace around the clock, then measure the distance between the points with a ruler. Easy. But what if the circle was bigger? Even bigger. No. Even bigger. Do I need to wrap a string around this? <laughs> Looks difficult, right? Is there another way to measure the circumference of any circle? Well, there is a way if you know the diameter of the circle. Mathematicians have found out that when we take the ratio of the circumference to the diameter, we always get the same answer. The answer is Pi! P-I, Pi. Pi is the ratio between the circumference of a circle to its diameter. And the best part of that is that it is true for all circles. I mean, all circles, irrespective of the size of the circle. The value is estimated to be about 3.14159265358979828 oh, oh. Let me represent it as a fraction 22 by 7 So why is this ratio so important to us and also how did we discover pi simply because if you look around and observe you'll notice a pattern a pattern of how abundantly we are surrounded by curvatures. Electrons, atoms, molecules, our pupils, clocks, bracelets, wheels, balls, the letter O, zero, planets, the sun, and the list goes on. They are everywhere. Thus, even before the word pi came into existence, the ratio did exist in some form or the other throughout history. Babylonian, Egyptian, Greek, Chinese and Indian mathematicians have all estimated the value by trying to measure curves. But one aspect of pi remains mysterious. Its exact value. You see, we can never exactly find the position of pi on a number line. We can get close, but however close we get, we will always be a little bit off from the actual value of pi. That's because the digits of pi go on forever, making pi an irrational number. Although the approximation 22 by 7 gives us a value accurate to two decimal places and the fraction 355 by 113 to eight decimal places, which is accurate enough to do simple calculations, the endeavor into finding the most accurate value of pi is still ongoing. The most accurate value of pi to 50 trillion digits was achieved by Timothy Mulliken in Alabama, USA on 29th January 2020. He did it by running computer programs on an enterprise-grade compute and storage equipment using the Chudnovsky's algorithm. But why are we still enduring to find a more and more accurate value to pi? So far, we've managed to do a lot with 39 decimal places. We've computed the circumference of the known universe to the radius of a hydrogen atom. Its use doesn't end there. Pi has helped us understand periodic and oscillating systems like clocks, electromagnetic waves, and even music. Talking about electromagnetic waves, 
How do you think we figured out that light is both a wave and a particle? Why? This discovery led us to estimate the density of the entire viewable universe. With just a fraction of knowledge about pi, we've solved so many mysteries of the universe. Wonder what we we'll know when we solve pi's mystery. <laughs> no wonder there is a separate day dedicated to this mysterious number. And what better day than pi? 3.14 March 14th. Come celebrate International Pi Day with us on Baiju's The Learning App.